Hey, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Forgers. Forgers! The Worker Placement <laughs> Expansion. <laughs> That's so weird. So generic. All right. Um, uh, so Foragers, the expansion, was uh, designed by Steve Finn for Dr. Finn's Games. Plays two to four mm -hmm. in about 45 minutes right. or so, maybe less. Um, I'm sick, obviously. <laughs> I've been sick all week, ever since we got back from DTCon, so um, I won't be talking too much. Or at least I'll try not to because I know you probably don't want to hear my, my <laughs> sick voice. All right, so uh, when we get back to the table after the break, we'll show you how it plays. All right, so what do we have, Forager? So Forager's the worker placement expansion uh, basically like throws everything out the window from the original Forager's game as far as the uh, action selection goes uh, and really sort of refines it and, and makes it more of a, I guess more of a communal experience when it comes to selecting actions. Because in the old version of the game, uh, each player had their own action card deck that they would draw you know, a few cards out randomly uh, pick which one they wanted to play and then they had they had like a common action selection card as well That wasn't as powerful just in case you didn't have the right actions to play uh, But you could only play on your card or you could play on the communal card where every other player played their own so um, with this Expansion it, it creates sort of a really uh, major variant in my opinion where it, it adds a bunch of well The only actions you can take are these sort of common actions in this common action pool and we'll, we'll talk through that as well um, and, and just makes the game flow a lot quicker. Uh, the two-player variant, which we're going to play, actually puts in a uh, sort of an AI or an enemy, uh, I, enemy uh, pawn that's going to be kind of messing with us the whole time. So we'll show you how that works too. Um, we'll go through real briefly what, uh, what floor, uh, Forgers is, and we'll explain. Um, well, we're not really going to talk about too many of the changes. You'll see for yourself as we play. So mm -hmm. if you look at the table, what do we have? We have the game set up for two players. It is uh, an exploration game at heart, um, but it is worker placement and action selection. And pick up and delivery. And pick up and delivery. So those are the, the, the major mechanics that are at play here. And what you see is um, a three by three grid with the center tiles already explored and they all have sort of food that we're gonna be foraging. So we're like cavemen foraging for food. Mm -hmm. uh, to bring back to the campfire, um, and share with the rest of our, our villages, right? So there's like four different villages. There's a green, an orange, a yellow, and a white village. Um, all the tokens you see represent uh, the three main food items that we're gonna be forging. So we have berries. Uh, the brown ones are aurochs, which is an ancient species of cattle. Right. Uh, uh, extinct species. Uh, and then you have these fish is the blue, right? So every, uh, I guess, forge point starts with three of that resource. There's going to be other ones as we explore these tiles, and we're going to earn a victory point for doing that. Along the edge of the board in each of the camp sites, you're going to see these sharing tokens, and they represent what, just think of what different people in the village want. And we're going like to want to... Like clients or something. Right. They're your, they're your contracts, right, that you're going to fulfill on the pickup of the delivery. So you're going to go out, you're going to forge for food, and you're going to bring it back to one of the respective villages. Uh, in the center here, you're going to see we have... Um, our action tiles or action cards. So you put out as many as there are players. We have a draw deck here. Um, over here you have what actions, and this is new. Th these are what your energy actions. So your turn is broken up into two parts. It's, it's a cube action, which we're gonna have three cubes to put out and select actions. And you've got energy actions. And these can be done either before or after your cube action. Think of them as free actions, but they cost energy. We're each gonna start here on our energy track where we have three strength uh, and as you have more energy, you gain more strength, and that's going to matter when we start to brawl or if you want to cross onto a space with another player or actually go onto the tile where the enemy is. That's going to matter. This track down here is where we keep our food, and every round it's going to spoil a little bit. And if it gets to the end of the track, it's gone, so you want to get rid of it before then. Uh, different ways to score is you, know, you want to have as many deliveries to different campsites as you can throughout the game, and you will get bonus points for... Uh, repeated same type of food delivery. So You're specializing. Yeah, it's like set collection <laughs> almost. Uh, and then you have uh, spots for tools. And tools are located on all of the edge boards here. Uh, they each have one. And like this tool lets you, and they're pretty straightforward tools. One tool lets you get one additional 
food product from the foraging experience. So a um, boomerang, for example, gives you one extra auroch when you, mm -hmm. when you loot from here, uh, and that'll give you one from the supply. Uh, you've got all sorts of things um, that are basically represented here. So you've got fishing poles, you've got uh, boomerangs, and you've got like this stick that helps you get berries <laughs> out of the bushes, I guess. Right. Uh, and you have the spear, which will boost your strength up by one, which again can be helpful later. But literally that's it. So we're going to be taking our actions, replacing the card every round, spoiling our food, and then moving on. Uh, anytime we want to take an action on the second card, we're going to have to roll the die, and this guy is going to move in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction to go to another tile and hopefully not mess us up too much and then he's going to actually take food depending on what the pip count is mm -hmm. and scoop so he's like a bad guy who's going around and just destroying all the food it's or terrible. taking them and running them to some village that's not we need to take that guy out we do i wish we could but we can't <laughs> so that's it in a nutshell that's the game we're going to be going through it now so i think without further ado uh you are player one yep. according to this uh and let's get started This is tough. It is tough. So we both actually start on this same spot. It's called a rest spot. It's got mm -hmm. these little lightning bolts. And it's the only only time you can actually have both players start on that is in the two player game. Yeah. Our actions are so limited. Right. Like picking up food actions are so limited. Oh yeah, so real quick before you go. Yeah, there's of. different the different types of actions so you know what we're actually doing here. Um, you can this little guy here with the spear may be tough to see but he uh, that's walking action and a lot of these actions in this in expansion are combined action so like you can walk and pick up gather mm -hmm. you can walk and explore you can walk and pick up a tool you can't just grab a tool you have to go there and then actually have the ability to pick that tool up you can rest which will just give you you know nine energy here uh, you can walk and explore again or just pick up a tool and gather the Energy actions are one is to rest. It's to meditate. Right, you're you're meditating. Um, this one here is to, trade. to share. They call it. This one is to explore. That's to pick up a tool, and that one is to walk. So the only thing you can do with your energy. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not rest. That's eat. I'm sorry. I don't know yeah. why. Rest is laying down. Right. Now, that one's eat. So, so if you actually have food. You can eat it, and depending on how fresh it is, it'll give you that much energy. And it doesn't cost any energy to do that, but if you want to use up your food to get yeah. energy back, you'll do that. Because you're going to spend energy to do those actions. The tricky thing is the only thing you can do with energy yeah. is pick up food. Is gather, so, yes. So That's where the challenge comes in. All right, so I'm going to use the second card. Why are you taking that cube? What? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. This cube. Um, because I want to take an action here, but okay. I have to do this first. You have to roll the die. You can explain what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so every time you take an action on the second action card, you have to roll the die. Move the enemy one space, either counterclockwise or clockwise. He will go to that board, and he will destroy the fish. The fish. So he's going to take all those fish, and they are now gone. Wow, he's terrible. All right. Now I can take my action. Now you can take your action. So I'm going to go here. Do you want to explain what the, what the four means? The four means you can do any combination of those actions on that board four times. So I'm going to move for one, move for two. And it leaves two actions left. I can pick up. And you can pick up two fish. I want to pick up three fish. Uh, then I would have. Right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use one of my energy, mm -hmm. and I'm actually gonna run to my first spot, which costs four energy. That's right. It's like really running. Because you're sprinting out there to grab all of those fish exactly. out of the lake. Then I'm gonna use my cube action okay. for four, move one, and then pick up three fish. Right. Now you can't, the main rule here is you cannot interrupt your cube action to do an energy action. So she could not have walked with the cube action, spent energy to walk another space, and then gather. Right. Like you have to do it all before or all after as far as energy goes, and then do your cube action. Okay, explain why I put these on my board. Okay, so on your board, your food comes in at this space, depending on what type of food you got. Um, and it's worth three energy if you were to eat it because it's super fresh. You just pull them right out of the river, right? Um, after the round, we're going to flip one of these cards and it's going to tell us what type of foods um, spoil how many amounts. Right. And they are going to start moving right on this track. Yep. So they all start on the left. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yep. And I'm actually going to... 
probably use an energy action. Wow, they put us so far away from everything. I know. I'd like to gather, but... Well, technically we're close to everything. I guess we are, right? One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to... Whew. Six, huh? Yeah, so I'll do this at... No, I don't wanna do that one. I'll do this one for five. Right, so that's just move and explore. Yeah, so I'm gonna go one, two, three over to this lake. I'm gonna explore this corner tile so I get that victory point. This is going to flip up and then we're gonna populate it with all those food amounts and another tool. So I just explored. So that was, that was one, two, three, four, and I have one more energy left over, so I could move again if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So any extra um, actions that you have left over, you can gain in energy. So I gain one energy for that. All right. Okay. Mm. Uh, this sucks. I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to take this action. So I have to roll again. Mm hmm. Why do you keep rolling this guy? Because these actions are no good right now. Six. Six. Wow, he's going to move six spaces. Now you can go either direction. Two. Wait, does he want this? Yep, one? he does. What about that one? No, okay. only the I reveal. So. Two. Three, four, five, six. six. All right, so, boom. And he, it's a six, so he's going to get rid of the cherries or whatever they are. All right, cherries. so that's the small collection. That's not so bad. All right. So then you chose move and, and, six. and tool. Yeah, so I'm going to pick up a tool. All right, so now you have five moves left. And I'm going to move one. So that's one, two. Yep. So I have four. I'm going to take energy. But I'm going to spend an energy uh -huh. to trade. To share. Yeah. Well, technically... It's called sharing. You think he's sharing? They're sharing with he's all the tribes. He's giving him the fish. You don't think he's getting anything in return. Who knows? All right. So he's going <laughs> to share. And this is the green campfire. Right. So It's three fish. Three fish. So contract fulfilled. Done. All Thank right. You. So you're good. I'm going to choose this action, which is pick up a tool. So this is a, a, a value of four. So that, that's one action. So now I get extra aurochs when I herd them. I have three left. I can gather. So I'm going to gather all three of these fish, I think. Maybe do I want to do that? No. I'm actually going to spend four energy. Oh, I can't split. Mm -mm. So before I take the tool, <laughs> before I take the tool, I'm going to spend one, two, three, four action. I can't do that either because I, I can't move. So I have to do that. So I will take the fish. Okay. Yeah. That's how that's going to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, they want too much from me. I know. Alright, I'm just gonna rest. Rest and get nine energy. Alright. For nine energy, I think. Actually, I will take this one. Mm hmm. Roll the dice. Two. Two. Fish. One, two. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's good. There's no fish there. Yeah, he's moving on to my tile. As long as you have a strength of three, you can leave. Uh, I don't want to leave. Uh, but you're not. You're, you're doing a rest. You're going to have more than no, enough I'm strength. I'm doing oh. move. I'm doing a move and explore, actually. Oh, yeah. Then you're not moving if you move him there. So you're going to. But I have to... a strength of three. I can move off of there. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. You're fine then. Because like, I'd really rather not eat all of our resources. Yeah, it's preferable, yeah. Because, like, so thematically, I feel like that's what he's doing. He's just eating everything. Yep. All right, so that's done. I have five. So I'll go one. Explore. Oh, that's a lot of aurochs. Yeah. I'll populate these in a minute. Yeah. So that was one, two, um, three. I'll just take two. Okay. Okay. 
<clears throat> so I guess I'll finish with nine resting actions. But I think what I'll do is I'll spend an energy first. And one, two, three, four energy rather. Move over to this uh, campfire. Spend another energy to trade my three fish for this three wild token, which is just any, any resource. Put that on my orange fire. Uh, and then I'll take my cube action, which is to rest for nine energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I am <laughs> raring to go. That's good. All right, so that ends the round. So now we do, um, we're gonna change player order here. Mm -hmm. uh, Whoever is the highest on the first card becomes player one. Uh, we'll take all of our cubes back. The first card goes away. And I'll just put that under this okay. deck. And then we bring, we slide this one over to the first card. This one becomes the second card. All right. Interesting. Very interesting, right? And now we spoil. So at this point, if you have any food, you have the option to eat it first before you spoil it. Mm -hmm. But since we don't have any, it doesn't matter. But all resources would have spoiled by two. So that was the spoilage for the round. But that's it. Now we're on to the second round. Okay. So I will start us off. I'll start us off here. So I'm going to roll the dice for six. Interesting. So we can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right back to where he started. Yeah. Oh, so he's going to end here anyway. And what does he get rid of? Berries. So he gets rid of all those berries. What a rat. Uh, I'm gonna take this walk and gather action for a six value. And I'll go one, take three, but I'm gonna get a bonus one because of my boomerang. Mm. So that costs me four actions. I get two more energy because I didn't spend them all. And that's it. Okay. Why wouldn't you go back and deliver that? Because I... Oh, you already delivered to orange. I delivered to that. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to whisper. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take all four actions. I'll just take these four. Okay, four Aurochs. All right. So I will then... Spend four energy to move up here, and then I will take this action to gather. It's a gather three, but I need to roll this guy again. It's another six. Oh no! But there's no berries, so nothing's going to happen because he's going to oh, go back gonna... around. There are no, he would do berries, but there's no berries left. So if there's nothing there, he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do now my three harvest or gather, and I'm going to gather up three berries. Nice. And that's my turn. Six. I need to get your energy. Then I'm gonna trade for one, four, or ox. All right. To the orange campfire. To the orange. Yeltan. Okay, so I guess I'll be moving and possibly exploring. I don't know if I want to though. I could go one, two, three, four, explore for five. Yeah, I'll do that. I have a strength of four, so it really, I can come into here and not worry about it. One, two, three, four, explore for five. And then move one for six to that safe mm -hmm. zone. And then spend one energy to trade three of my Aurochs for that. And that is to the green camp. And I will populate this. Did you explain what happens when you move on to this tile with that guy? When you move on to the tile with him, you just have to have... You brawl, mm -hmm. technically. 
but you just have to have a strength of three or more to go onto his tile. Otherwise, you can't even go onto his tile. Mm -hmm. If he's on your tile when he moves, you can't leave the tile until you have a strength of three or more. And what would you do if you couldn't do anything? You would just take an action and rest and gather the energy until you have enough to, uh, to get yourself off the tile. So I'm going to populate this. While you go. You explored? I did. But you went there. I'm sorry, that's where I went. Okay. I, forgot, I didn't put my cube down. So you actually can only do that. <laughs> Great. Which is just take two victory points. Yeah, I gotta move in though. Two, three. And three gets Orok. So he'll gather that. You get two victory points, and you actually get one action point. So if you want to move, you can do that. Do I? Hmm. Or take the energy, which really. Yeah, I think I'll take the energy. Okay. So that ends the round. You actually get the first mm -hmm. player seed. All right. Take our little workers back. This one comes off. That one slides down, and we get our next action card. And now we're actually going to spoil. So did you want to eat before you? Oh, you don't have any? I don't any. have anything. I'm not going to eat any either. I mean, I could, but I won't. Uh, boom, everything is going to spoil by two again. So we just slide these over two. And that's it. And you are player one now. Mm-hmm. All right. Awesome. I'm going to do this. Six. Move and gather. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm going to pick up these berries. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not, because I moved six pieces. You're not going to pick up anything. Um, all right, hold on. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that's, that's tough. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, well... There's closer berries, too. Yeah, I'm just, I'll go here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, that'll leave you with one energy. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. But I have two of these branches, so, so I'm like know. really picking like so lots of berries. Two free ones, like yeah. Two for free. And I still have an extra action point to spend. You do. And. I'm gonna move. I'm actually gonna use it to move back this way. All right. Hmm. So I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna have to roll the dice here. He's gonna move five. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're going here. And what is he chomping on? Berries? And there's no berries for you, buddy. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna move. How'd you move in five? One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I got four, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then pick up a fishing hook for four. Nice. And that is my turn. That was a move and tool action. All right, I'm gonna do this. Move and gather. Yeah. One. One. Okay. One is fish, so wherever he goes, there he is. <laughs> so weird. Yep. All right. Um, oh, that's so tough. I know. Because I can't do two energy actions, right? You can do as many energy actions as you can oh, afford. Really? Yes. One. Nope, as many times as you want, you can do energy actions. Hmm. I have five. Yeah, where are you?
you? Yep, five. to pick up. And I have no actions to pick up. But that's all I'm gonna do. Really? I can spend any energy or nothing. What? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Um because the thing is if you go here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one of these to do. That's correct. So I'll have a movement. Alright, that's you know true. What I mean? Yep. So I'd rather not waste. That's fair. Okay. So it's then tough. I'll it's spend tough call. one, two, three, four energy to move here. Then I'm gonna take this action for three. Mm -hmm. Grab three of the fish, but I'm gonna get a bonus of one because yep. of my hook. And that's all I can do. Alright, cool. So I'll go here. Take two points. Move one space. Mm -hmm. And I will pay one point. And I'm only going to trade three of my berries. Okay. Three berries. To the yellow. Alright. Okay. So then I will go here to get a move. Pay one, two, three, four to get another move. And then one to trade three fish for this. To the white camp. Okay. All right, and I get a two victory point. Shit. Oops, All right, player order stays the same because mm -hmm. that's it. Oh, our workers come four. And we are moving on. So this comes off the board. That's going to slide. This is going to reveal. Wow, it's a big rest. <whistles> that guy can definitely use that rest. <laughs> um, did you want to eat any food? No. Uh, I'm going to eat my Oroch because I'm so hungry. <laughs> and that's going to give me two. It should be good for like the season. Two energy. Um, and I'm going to eat my one fish. Okay. Which is going to give me three more energy. One, two, three. And I'll let these berries age a little bit. It's like fine wine. So fish two, Oroch one, berries three. One, two, three. But they last the longest. Yeah. Okay. It's the fish that go bad quick. Yes. All right, so we are ready to jump into round four. So I'm first. Okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> four. Four is Oroch, so he's yeah, not. Yeah, he's good. And okay. I can do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus two. Plus two. All right. So then I will. I'll just do this and I'll go one, two, three, four. And I get one extra because I have the boomerang. Mm -hmm. And I get one more action. I'll take an energy, but then I'm going to spend two energy to explore this tile. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. Fish. So we've got all sorts of things going on here. Lots of fish on that tile. All right. Very square fish. They are. Can I grab a tool? Yeah, sure. That's so nice. We have another fishing hook. Thematic. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Right? Mm hmm. Was it a four? Yep. Okay. I passed through you. 
I'm going to uh, go this way instead. No, you can. You actually have higher strength than me, so we'll show okay. them how that works. So as you, if you pass through another player, mm -hmm. um, you then brawl, right? So it's sort of, it's tied into the movement action. Yeah. So if your strength is higher, obviously you're only going to go through their space yeah. if you have higher strength, but your strength is three, my strength is two. Since you have me um, by one strength, that's you earn the difference in victory points for the brawl. So you get a victory from point. From the pot. Yeah, so you like kind of punch me as you walk by me. Aww. Yeah, in the original game, you would actually take those victory points from the other players, yeah. which could be kind of brutal. Right. Uh, but in this, it's kind of like passive. It really doesn't, right. it doesn't mess with me. It just is another way for you to earn some victory points, right. especially if you had like a lot of strength and they had none. Exactly. Then, I mean, that's a huge way to get points. So I'm gonna pay one. And yep. then trade four berries. Well, share four berries. You're sharing four, yeah, because you're getting nothing in return for that. I know. But, I'm just like a philanthropist. Yeah, it's kind of like, I guess, like renown, you know, or influence yeah, with right. the tribes. You're earning influence with them. All right, it's your turn. Okay, so I suppose I will go. Hmm, it doesn't really give me much of an option here. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy back. So I can come brawl you. Right. All right, and I'm going to take this action for two points. And I'll save the one. And save the one. I think that's all you can do. I know before we talked about walking with that one, yeah. but it's not a walking. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what we were thinking. but. And then um, I'm going to spend that one mm -hmm. to trade again. So okay. I'm going to trade three wild, and it's going to be three. Three berries. wild berries. Three wild berries. <laughs> exactly. That makes sense. One, two, three. Really, I should have spent these old ones first last yep. time, but so I knew I was going to do that. I'm going to have to go here, so let's roll him up. He's going to go four. Uh, one, two, three, four, or one, two. I don't want yeah. him. Yeah. Well, he would land here, so it's Either the same, way. right? Yeah, so he's going to hit the corners, and a four is the Orux. So that is done. I'm going to get three, move, and tool. One, two, tool. Nice. I have two fishing hooks. Good. I can get a whole lot of fish. You can. That's it. That is it. So we play order um, stays the same. same. And we were on the last round, I yep. believe. This is quick. It was very quick. All right, so that goes over. This comes out. This is actually going to come up as our last card. Uh, did you want to eat some food before we spoil? I have nothing. I give all my food. I These are it. worth one each. I As long as I don't go three, this is a kind of a gamble, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm going to gobble. They don't give you much nutrients. I'm going to gobble them up. Oh, right. They're worth one energy each. I mean, if you don't think you're going to trade them. I'm not, because they need yeah. five, and yeah. I'm, not, I'm not planning on picking any up along the way. So I think it's best if I just nom them down. So three. Yeah, See, they, they would have spoiled. spoiled. Everything spoils for three this round. Yep. One, two, three. That bison meat's getting so rank. I would make jerky. <laughs> That's weird. All right. So let's, uh, let's go. Final round. Okay. Okay. Take us away. Calgon, take me away. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that commercial? I do. The bubble. I All certainly right. do. All right, six. Let me go here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I have three, so I can move in there, right? Three, yeah. Like my strength. Yes, yeah, so as long as you have a strength of three, you can go in there. So one, two, three, four, five. And two bonus. And two bonus. And you have one energy left over unless you want to move. Because you are on the move action. I am on the move action. Um, I'll just save it. It's like, same thing. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to do a one, two, three, four energy walk or, or sprint. It's a run. It's a run. So he's running to that lake. I hope he doesn't scare any fish. And I'm going to take this five loot action or gather action. So I'm going to need to roll him up, and he's got a six. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll send him out here. And he's going to eat berries. berries. But there's no berries, so too bad. 
Um, but I'm going to take the five gather That's action, all fish. and I can take all the fish, and I'm going to get two extra because I have two fishing poles. Okay. So I fish that lake clean. That's good. I don't really know why I did all that though. Four, I don't know. five, six, seven. I'm going to put two back. So there were five here. I'm only going to fish three of them because I want to get two energy back. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I want to have two energy left over. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. don't have any move, so it has to be either gather or. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I'm going to do this one for three. And go one, two, three. And trade. Share. Share. Three berries. Three berries. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, and that was only three points, so. All right. Oh, and I have to spend that thing. Very good. Okay. So then I'm going to just walk. And I have, what, a six? One. Two. Oh, do I want to do that, though? I'm not sure that's what did you do? optimal. I walked. Just walk. You didn't move the red guy yet. Oh, yeah. I gotta move him. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of the cherries. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk there. And that's gonna max out my energy. Okay. And then I'm gonna trade. Mm -hmm. Five fish. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And take that. And that is yellow. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm gonna go. And in case you're wondering, you can only trade uh, or share once per turn. Although, you know, I have enough to do another share, but you're not allowed to. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, and that's not a walk. That's not a walk. All right, I'll just rest. Rest for seven. I think that maxes me out. Yep. That's it. Okay, then my final action. Wow, it's going to be that, and I'm not going to do anything. You could run and go pick up that tool. You get a lot of retry points for tools. Yeah, actually that's a good idea. So this is a tool action, right? So before I take that action, I'm going to go one, two, three, four to run over here. Yeah, but you have to roll the dice first. Yeah, that's fine. One. Stand over there and eat that fish. <laughs> uh, so he's going to do that. Um, so I spent the four, right? Uh, I spent my run. Now I'm going to take this action. Scoop the tool, mm -hmm. and then take three points. Take three action energy back, yeah. and now I'm going to spend one, two, three, four energy to run back here. Spend one more energy to mm. trade four aurochs. Very good. That was the way you run. Okay. Run a business. <laughs> All right. Is that it? I think that's it. So we're done. So there's no more spoiling, obviously, because we're done. We just finished. So now it's really just adding up the points, yep. right? And we just simply do that by looking at how many sets we have. All right. Yeah. So if we were each able to get all a complete set, right, for each camp. So mm -hmm. you, were you able to deliver to each camp? Yes. All right. So then we are each going to get seven victory points. So here's mm -hmm. three. If you give me a ten, we'll just track it this way. All right, so there's 10 points for me. Okay. You throw in three, get yourself. 10. So we'll score those real quick. Okay. And now, were you able to deliver three of any kind? I actually delivered four of a kind. Four berries. Very, 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 very. Okay, so you get five points. I have two and two, but this is wild, so I'll just pair it with one of them. So I'll That's do two. A, two victory points. Okay. And then we... Uh, look at tools, and I've got one, two, three, four tools, so I eight. get I get eight victory points. Wow, two. here's two. There's ten, and I have two, so that's three points. Three points. Okay. And then we add them up. Twenty-three. And I have twenty-two. 
22? 22. Wow, that's close. <laughs> okay. Wow, one point. And that was that fight. Yeah, it was that fight. The brawl is what yeah. did it. Dang. All right, cool. So there you have it. That's the Forger's Expansion. All right. There you have it. Forger's Expansion. The Worker Placement Expansion. Yes, the Worker Placement Expansion. Good. Yes. All right. Um, so I'm gonna let you take it away. You let me take it away. All right. So everybody's gonna start watching me. Yes, yeah, so, because of that voice. voice. You'd be like, mm, you just like nails on a yeah, chalkboard. So bad. Right? Uh, so what do we have? Um, we'll start with theme, right? Mm -hmm. so normally you kind of run the. I do. Run the uh, the points here, right. but so all right. So theme. What did you? Uh, so I can ask you what you think about <laughs> you theme. You know what I think. Uh, so uh, yeah, cool. Theme is is like caveman. It's all about going around, getting your getting your uh, food, mm -hmm. sharing it with the different tribes. Um, definitely cool. I mean, I like the theme. I, I, the art, the text, the font, it all kind of has that caveman-y vibe to it. Yeah. So you definitely feel like it. I like that you can kind of specialize. And you can specialize, right? So, with the tools. Yeah. And I think that's that's what you kind of have to do because you have a very limited amount of time to get out and and traverse the board, explore some of the hidden areas to look for these like secret, you know, little areas of fish and little like uh, whatever you call it of berries, a like, a, like a thicket of berries or a huge herd of aurochs sitting out there. So you know you've got to go out and get them. And I guess it's a boomerang because you're kind of herding them. I don't think you're really, yeah, I don't really taking have, aurochs have down with the boomerang. Them. But but otherwise, yeah, I mean, you definitely have that feel that you're kind of wandering around you don't have any real technology you've got mm -hmm. basic uh, you know rudimentary tools to go out and, and sort of get enough food to kind of share with the uh, with all the surrounding like tribes right? right and then kind of earn influence with them and and you're trying to do it in as quick quickly as as you possibly can while kind of managing this whole energy track right, right? And, and limited action selection which is pretty cool so i think theme kind of fits in nice with this game i think so too the only thing is that i wish that the chits were like shaped yeah, I mean that's the thing, right? You get so used nowadays. We're kind of spoiled, I think, yeah. with um, with wooden components uh, being shaped like things, right. right? So you expect the little cow meeples, you expect little fish meeples, meeple. and little berry, you know, little little berry meeples, and like a kind of a caveman dude yeah. running around, right? Because I think that would, I think that's what this is. But missing, that's okay. But otherwise, it doesn't take away. It, it's definitely you know it does its job, and you're able to tell yeah. what's what. So and it, and I think they went with these. Or, uh, Dr. Phil went with these cubes the way they are stackable. because you can stack them because you know you're getting yeah. a lot of stuff um all right so let's talk about mechanics and weight mechanics and weight i guess, I guess you couldn't really stack cows if you had cow meeples right like i don't know if it they'd really fit yeah it would be kind of yeah so <laughs> weight right yes all right so weight um this is definitely in and we're gonna we're gonna judge this based on this expansion right so with this expansion i think it makes this game much more accessible oh yeah uh it, it plays faster it's less clunky there's a lot it's just here it is there's the actions that are available for everybody you kind of compete to take them and that's it like it it, it's, it, it makes it very quick very quick game now um we played three players with a six-year-old yeah. uh and she had no problem catching mm -hmm. on with this right she figured it she out really, she really enjoyed it and really enjoyed it so um this is absolute entry level worker placement pick them and deliver mm -hmm. it like at its roots, that's yeah. what this is. And if the, if you're looking for something in that sweet spot, you know this has that. Yeah, right. for sure. Okay. Um, so that kind of speaks to target audience. It does. Yeah. yeah. So this is an anybody game, and if you want to get them into, again, those those mechanics, right? Because it's a nice sort of intro to mm -hmm. action selection, intro to worker placement, uh, intro to pick up and delivery. Because right. you you're kind of you know you're the picking up and, and it, it has all of that. So it but it all in very light. Uh, representation. Yeah, right? very easy to digest and like yeah. the Yeah, you know, it's got simple iconography. There really is nothing that you yeah. have to think about. It's all right there in front of you. Like if you want to rest, you're sleeping on the pillow. You know? And not a ton of bookkeeping. No, there's sometimes, like I think pickup and delivery sometimes can get a little. It can, and I, I appreciate you know the the low scoring yeah. games, mm -hmm. especially when you're talking entry level, because right. when you have an entry level game that you're you're getting points for everything that's a point salad to me that's just it's too much for some people right. to score every time you do something but in this case you, you most of your scoring happens at the end and any scoring that happens early on you're just getting like one point for it mm -hmm. and it's very easy to track that so yeah. that's it all right that's it all right cool so if you already own foragers i wouldn't even hesitate to get this expansion because yeah. it's going to make It'll probably make you enjoy this game in a different way. For sure. And that's and it might even open it up to have more people uh, try this out, right? 
so I, I definitely wouldn't hesitate. If you don't have it and you like what you see, definitely go to the Kickstarter page. Um, you know, Finn's games are always really solid, mm -hmm. um, always well delivered. So you, you're not really, I mean, we don't consider that a high risk Kickstarter no, campaign no. In, in any way. Um, he, he's very good with these. So um, definitely um, fits more into the little bit heavier filler, but not by much. Right. right? Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed the playthrough, even though you had a Sorry pretty, pretty messy voice. voice. But uh, <laughs> we did our best. We know we had to get this out. We couldn't wait for her voice to heal. So, uh, and I'm actually feeling a lot better. I yeah. just sound worse. It just sounds bad. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the Kickstarter link will be in the notes below the video. And we will see you next time. See ya.